With over 24 million peripheral cannulae purchased by the NHS each year, intravenous peripheral cannulation is one of the most commonly performed invasive procedures. The procedure carries with it a risk of infection because of the potential for direct microbial entry to the bloodstream. The Department of Health set a target in 2004 to halve the number of MRSA bacteremias by 2008. Now, in its fourth year, the MRSA Cleaner Hospitals program has seen a surge in learning on how to reduce healthcare-associated infections and, crucially, a noticeable decrease in MRSA infections. To sustain reductions in infection rates, the proactive involvement of every member of staff across all healthcare settings is required. We looked at a specific area, which was our MRSA bacteremias within the trust, which were uh, much higher than um, other trusts around us. We did a retrospective look at our, our rates from December 2006 to May 2007, following uh, a visit from the Department of Health MRSA Improvement Team. And what we found was that 50 out of 21 MRSA bacteremias, 53% were peripheral line associated. So the first step was to do a trust-wide audit uh, to see what was actually happening around peripheral cannula care. What we found was uh, that we had 13 different dressings within the trust, documentation was poor, um, and there was different types of cannula being used as well. So uh, an action plan was set in place. Part of that action plan was looking at standardisation of the dressing as a, as a first step, introduction of the 2% and 70% uh, chlorhexidine for skin preparation, and also the uh, uh, further on, slightly further on down the line, was looking at introducing a off-the-shelf pack. Infection prevention is high on every trust's agenda. Uh, and we've responded to the Department of Health's initiatives to reduce hospital-acquired infections uh, with specific regard to peripheral cannulae by first undertaking a critical review of the current uh, data and literature that supports um, cannulation. Uh, and in response to this, we've developed a standard cannulation pack which provides the end user with all the component parts required to undertake a safe cannulation procedure in line with current guidelines. Recently we have taken the concept of this standard cannulation pack a stage further by introducing uh, what we call a bespoke cannulation pack uh, where trusts have the opportunity to um, design the content of their pack um, in accordance with their requirements and for example uh, it can be their choice of um, dressing, their choice of labelling uh, documentation etc, their choice of skin um, cleansing uh, and in addition uh, we've also uh, started to include our new um, single-use tourniquet and needle-free device. And finally we've developed a library of accredited uh, electronic education support programs uh, which ensure both competency and compliance in terms of best clinical practice. When we decided to go, to go, go down the line of looking at our own um, standalone pack for the Trust. We wanted a company who were willing to go the extra mile, who were willing to give us a one-stop shop, which is what we were looking for, uh, in care of peripheral cannulas, and who were willing to take on board our ideas. Um, and whilst, well, through the looking around, the company that we found that could actually give us all of that, and were willing to, from an educational point of view, support the staff, um, go out around the wards on a continuous basis educating, uh, that was uh, Vigon. Another area that we were looking for obviously was cost effectiveness. When people think about uh, standalone parks they have the impression that they're extremely expensive. When you look at all of the items that have to be brought together to be included into a park, uh, it actually in the long run works out cheaper for a trust uh, to have uh, a one-stop shop. Since introducing the standalone parks, our Bacteremia rates for peripheral lines have reduced by 78.6% over the same time period as um, was used in the original audit. Um, our traceability of documentation has improved 100%. Um, staff knowledge and awareness uh, through education by the company and by us as an infection control team um, has uh, 
increased tenfold. Uh, the staff um, like the park, they like the fact that it is a one-stop shop. Um, only today uh, I've had three doctors who have actually come up and uh, said how much they prefer the, uh, the latest version of the uh, custom-made pack that has been introduced.